Good evening, Austin, Texas, and welcome to Parker Jazz Club. Tonight, we are celebrating Dr. Leonard's Continuance Day. So, big round for Dr. Leonard. We're thrilled to be able to be a part of this. Now, with a great deal of enthusiasm, please welcome to the stage the Ryan Davis Trio.
Hello. Good evening. Are you all ready? Uh, this is going to be exciting. We have been looking forward to tonight for a long time since we saw it all sort of laid out and we saw who all was involved. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we all love Dr. Leonard and we're so excited that he decided to do this continuance. I guess, I guess it's, it's that's the new term. Bir uh, birthdays are different now. Remember... Remember what they used to be when, like, we used to invite people over to, to our house and we'd all get real close together and we'd get, like, a cake and somebody would blow on it? Um, uh, <laughs> it's a different time, but we're glad, we're glad it's happening here. Tonight's going to be super fun. We have a lot of great musicians coming up. Uh, it's just going to be like a, it's like a festival. It's going to be a big party. Um, we're very excited. <laughs> This, uh, the first tune we did uh, was sort of an impromptu last minute call. Uh, that was uh, Used to Could by Christian McBride. We're going to do something now that the trio has never done. We sort of pulled this as a special one for Tom. Hope you like it.
Now, please welcome to the stage the man himself, 008, Dr. Tom Leonard. Hey, for anyone else who's out there, um, thank you so much for coming or watching from wherever you're watching. Obvious that was uh, my kind of town, Chicago, which is obviously where I'm from. Um, you are going to see some really special individuals tonight, and I'm connected to all of them in some way, and I'm connected to almost everybody in this room in some way. But the first person I'm going to bring out, I heard him with Ryan. Ben, you weren't with him at the time. This is like when I first got to Austin, Texas. I said, I got to find somebody who plays jazz. And I was at Eddie V's, and Chris Camuro was playing there. And I, not a lot of people were listening, but I was listening. I came outside, and I talked to him, and I said, you're good. And he thought I was nuts. <laughs> um, I said, you're good. And it has been the beginning of, as they say in Casablanca, a beautiful friendship. So um, I'm going to bring Chris out on this first song to play with me. Chris, you're back there somewhere, right? There. Um, this first song, uh, you may know, my mom was a first grade teacher forever and sang and played piano. And my dad worked, he designed every Walgreens store in America at one point. I, I'm not kidding. And he was a tenor sax player. And they met on a job. And uh, he would have loved this place. This was one of my mom's favorite songs. So we're going to do that together and uh, with the Ryan Davis Trio. <laughs>
Chris Kamura. So Chris is going to move around me really quickly here, and uh, he's going to do a little shift in whatever he's doing. And so there's a couple songs I'm keeping Chris out here to play. Um, and these are selected songs for certain people. So the first one is, I'm well, sorry, I'll make go to the second one. Brenda, the second one's for you. Okay, and for your children at home who are watching, Joshua and Gina are out there somewhere, I hope. I really hope they're out there watching this. Um, this is a fabulous family. They are the greatest people I've ever met in my life. So they are just wonderful people. So the second song's for you, and of course it'll be in Portuguese, and you'll love it. Okay, I hope. Okay. The first song, oh, and this is Parker. Parker came to the stage. Parker is a very special young man, um, and he is in kindergarten, and he is uh, studying lots of things. Um, Chris, I need to put on a hat, so can you hold this for one okay. second? Absolutely. So the first song is um, the first song is connected to one of my favorite cities, and also one of Kelly's favorite cities. Um, and I have some friends watching tonight from Paris, France, and you'll know this song, and you'll know why I'm wearing the beret in about two seconds when Chris starts playing. So, Chris, you tell whatever stories you want, and you take it away. It's yours. All right. I'm not going to tell anything from home plate. <laughs> Parker, it, he's very shy. He doesn't want to talk, but he wants to be on stage, so that's why he's sitting there. In the fall, I love Paris in the springtime when it drizzles, and I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. 
I love Paris every moment Every moment of the year I love Paris Why do I love Paris? Because my baby's there Once again, Ryan Davis on the piano. I love Paris in the winter. And I love Paris in the fall. I love Paris in the springtime when it drizzles. And I love Paris in the summertime when it sizzles. I love Paris every moment Every moment of the year I love Paris Why, oh, why do I love Paris? Because my baby is there Because my baby is there Because my baby is there.
All right, so Dr. L picked out these tunes we're going to do for you, and we like doing them anyway, so here we go. Yeah. Do corpo dourado do sol de Ipanema O seu balançado mas que tô rima É a coisa mais linda e o que eu já vi passar Ah, por que tu tá sozinho? Ah, por que tu me tá triste? Ah, Beleza que existiu, a beleza que na versão minha, que também passou sozinha. A ciena soubesse que quando ela passa, o mundo sorrindo se enche de e fica mais linda por causa do amor. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl. From Ipanema goes walking in. When she passes, each one she passes goes. When she walks, she's like a samba that sways so hard and swings so gently that when she passes, each one she passes goes. Oh, but I watch her so sadly. How can I tell her I love her? Yes, I would give my heart gladly But each day when she walks to the sea She looks straight ahead, not at me Tall and tan and young and lovely the girl From Ipanema goes walking and When she passes I smile but she doesn't see We got, we got a lot of great musicians that are going to be coming up on stage, and um, my wife is in the office, and she's been told to, to, to cut my mic off if I talk too long. Um, I could probably talk for the rest of the night about what a wonderful human being uh, Dr. Leonard is. You all know him, so I, I really don't have to say much of it, but I do want to say a couple things. So he, he kind of he stole some of my thunder. I was going to say how we first met, um, but it, it goes much further than that. Um, we did meet at Eddie V's, that's true. And, um, you know, I, I decided that I was going to open a club. And I'd been talking about it and talking about it and couldn't, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm just some idiot saxophone player that wanted to open up a jazz club. It was not easy finding people that were going to invest in, in, a, in a dream. It was a big deal. And uh, at Eddie V's, 
you know, we were out there every Sunday and Monday where we met a lot of you folks, Mr. C and Camille, but um, that was our home base. And so when we were on break, I'd go out and I'd smoke half a pack of cigarettes because that's just what I did. And uh, one day I was out there and I remember it vividly, Ryan and I were outside talking and we were talking about the club and just how hard it was going to be to find investors. And, uh, uh, you know, Dr. Leonard walks by and goes, investors for what? And, um, you know, and, and that, that single conversation is the only reason that this club is even here. Because through Dr. Leonard, I met Dylan and Surangi, I met David and Judy Harris, I met all of the people that made this dream a reality for me, and it would not have happened without Dr. Leonard. I'm just gonna say one other thing about that. So let's fast forward to a year and a half in, and um, I had some, I made some mistakes, I had some, uh, some partners, I had some issues that were bad, and uh, there, was a, there was a point where uh, a, 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 the manager was removed because he was doing not a good job. And when he left, the entire staff left. And I had to shut the club down. And uh, this is about a year and a half into it, and I was crushed. And for about five days, I didn't eat. And not a lot of people know this. I didn't eat. I didn't sleep. My wife certainly knows it. Uh, I was at probably the lowest point in my life. Um, not, not because the club failed. Businesses fail. Um, but just, just how it all went down, and I was truly at the end of my rope, um, and I, 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 was, I was a mess. And uh, Dr. Leonard called me and said, Chris, get down here now. Uh, and I met him down here at the club, and we saw the club all locked up, saying closed until further notice. I had no staff. I was truly at probably one of the lowest points in my life. And he said, you need to eat, don't you? And I said, no. And he said, come on. So he grabs my arm, and he drags me, and he, he feeds me. Um, he, he forces me to eat. I mean, he didn't like force me, but he actually sat me down and he made me, he made me eat. And it's the first thing that I'd eaten in probably three days. Um, and it was the first time in probably five days that I felt like a human being again. And he has this way, and again, all of you know him, um, he has this way of just making everything better. Um, anytime I'm stressed out in my life, I, I call Dr. Leonard and, uh, and actually, I called David Harris and I called Dillman Sarangi. I, like, he started this link of people that just are the most wonderful people in my life. But, but Dr. Leonard has been someone um, since I met him that has always just made my life better. Uh, he, he truly has. And uh, I was only supposed to play two songs, but I, I always play this one song that I, that I adore. Um, and I always play it for, for those of you that I, I think most of you at this point know who Tony Campisi was. I always play this song and I always dedicate it to Tony Campisi. I don't think Tony would mind at all if tonight um, I play this is my favorite song that that I learned from Tony one of my favorite ballads ever uh, and tonight I just want to dedicate it to Dr. Leonard because he has just been um, one of the the most amazing people in my life um, we moved so that my kiddo could go to his school um, we and and prior to that we, we were at a we were at Sarangi school so I, I really this it really is Parker Jazz Club is a family affair it really is my wife's in there switching the cameras Parker had to be out here. He wants to sit out here, but um, none of it, none of nothing, none of my dream, none of having Count Basie here, none of having all of the amazing shows and all of the amazing experiences we've had here, none of it would be possible without Dr. Leonard. And for that, I mean, I, I love, I, I love you, Dr. Leonard. And and like I said, so tonight, this song that I always play for Tony, I want to play it for you tonight, um, because you you mean the world to us, and and we love you, and and happy continuance day. <laughs> Thank you. 
Happy birthday, man. Got it. Okay. Um, just a couple things about the last two songs, if you don't know anything about them. Um, COVID has been tough, really tough on a lot of people. You know what the name of that song was? Does anyone know? Every Breath I Take. I mean, really, people really have struggled during this thing. And what Chris said was, he's a nice guy. He just is a nice guy. I didn't do any of that stuff, okay? Um, <laughs> The other thing I want to tell you is the song right before that, The Girl from Ipanema, he didn't tell you this story. Um, but at one time, things weren't going so well. And I, my dad was a big Bossa Nova, um, Joe Bean, Stan Getz fan. Those of you old enough to remember that as music, uh, they were good. And um, I decided I needed a trip. So I went to Brazil, to Manaus. I went to Rio. I went to Ipanema. I found the bar where the guy sat and wrote the song as the young woman walked by. And I'm in this, I'm in this bar and I'm listening to the music and they're playing bossa nova. And uh, I say, well, the waiter asked me, what are you doing here? And I go, well, I wanted to, this is the place where the song was written and all of that, I just wanted to come. And he goes, well, you do want to meet her? <laughs> and I go, who? He goes, well, the girl from Ipanema. And I go, well, yeah. Well, she's next door. She has a little store called The Girl from Ipanema Store. So I went over there and met the girl from Ipanema. At that time, she was maybe in her 70s, so she was no longer a girl, but um, it was a wonderful thing. So the next person I'm bringing up here, um, at one point, I really like the way, do you like the way uh, Chris plays saxophone and flute? And it's amazing. So I said to Chris, Chris, I think I'm going to take up sax again. I, must, I need lessons. Can you give me lessons? And he goes, you don't want me. He goes, I'm not that good. He goes, you want Russell. And I go, Russell who? So Russell, get out here, okay? And I'm moving over here. And Russell, you're gonna meet him on the other side. Russ, or oh, well, Chris is. Okay, I got the wireless on me. Okay. So Russell, um, Dr. Russell Haig, by the way, Dr. Russell Haig, uh, is a unbelievable musician. UT, right, uh, now at Texas State, where he teaches, he's a professor there, and you're gonna love him. So this song is, I never really knew this song, and I, that we're gonna play next. Um, it, it's really known by uh, John Coltrane. And Coltrane, uh, the story was he was doing all this bebop stuff and it wasn't selling at one point and it was, he was kind of way out there and all this stuff and they said, we need something, a ballad album. And so, as Russell tells the story, they were just driving to the, to the session and they pulled into a music store and just grabbed anything they could find. And one of the songs they grabbed was this song called Say It. And Sarah, some, at some point in life, Sarah or Kenny or somebody, I'm gonna get somebody singing this song and playing with us because the words to it are extremely romantic. I mean, they really are. So let's do it.
good or not? I mean, really, is he something? Dr. Hig and uh, Ryan Davis. How about that on the solo on Ryan Davis? Just incredible. So, um, like I said, my dad was a fan of uh, Jobim, and he was a fan of Bossa Nova's, and I'm keeping Russell up here, and he's going to do one of my dad's favorite songs. You want to introduce it or tell him what it is or anything you want to tell him about the song? Go. Well, first of all, I, I need to uh, give a great thanks, as we all have been doing this evening, to Dr. Tom yeah. Leonard. Yeah. What a, one of the most uh, generous, caring, thoughtful individuals I've ever met. And I know Chris had a wonderful anecdote, and I'm sure we all have those same kind of stories about um, just how giving and open-minded he is. And it's an honor and a pleasure to teach him, and it's been uh, fascinating for me because in the course of our discussions on saxophone, we have lessons, but he brings to me all kinds of questions and... Uh, he's so open-minded and engaged, and our time together flies by. Sometimes I feel like I should be paying him because it's one part therapy and one part curiosity, and he's always asking me these really deep questions that I have to go do my own homework on. So um, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience to know him. And i got to say, uh, let's give it up for this great house band. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've... I actually don't think I've ever played with this configuration, but these guys are working hard all night, making it so easy for all of us to sound great. So uh, it's incredible. And I also need to give, of course, a great shout out to Chris Camara for this amazing club. Austin is lucky to have him in this space. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> and the song we're going to continue on with is a wonderful composition by the great uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim. It's called Desafinado, which translates to off key or slightly out of tune, and um, uh, I will do my best to play it slightly into. So here we go. <laughs>
Was he good? I mean, I, and we're not going to let him leave the stage. By the way, um, we've got some young talent in the room, and Dr. Rose, we've got some old talent in the room. Um, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. But we got Dr. Rose out there. He'll be up in a few minutes. We got Floyd Domino. If you don't know who Floyd Domino is, you will. One of the best key play, the keyboard players around. Uh, we got John Blondell in the house. We have, oh, and a young guy who you're going to absolutely love, Devin Jones. Uh, when I heard him, I said, he is, uh, who's the guy that you guys like from uh, New Orleans, the singer, um, piano player? Harry Connick Jr. This guy's going to be the next Harry Connick Jr. Easy, okay? But on guitar. So Russell's trying to teach me, and I'm not going to let him go because he's going to help someone out on a song here. The next person um, I'd like to bring out, Sarah, can you come on out? Um, Sarah is just... Kelly and I were... Uh, in another place, restaurant or bar or somewhere, and we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, Sarah comes out, and she starts singing. And you're playing with Mitch, right? Mitch, Watt. Mitch Watkins on guitar, who is, again, an, an unbelievable musician in Austin, Texas. And my mom loved the type of music she, she does, and it's kind of a torch singer type stuff, is that maybe, or is yes. that what you call it? <laughs> And I said to Kelly, as I'm listening to Sarah sing, I go, she's good, really good. And you are now going to get to hear her if you've never heard her. She really is good. So these two, next two songs, one will be with Russell, and I think we're going to Chris come back out for one. But um, they are, I'm kind of dedicating these to my mom. who uh, together We were together a long time ago on a particular day where she was probably screaming and I was screaming, and we got through it. But... <laughs> Sarah, it's all yours.
scotch and soda But in your eye Baby, do I feel high Oh me, oh my Do I feel high Dry martini, jigger of gin Oh, what a spell you've got me People won't believe it. I say that I'm just bragging, but I could feel the way I am feeling. Still be on the wagon. Oh, all I need is one of your smiles, the sunshine of your. for forgiveness later a little happy birthday will you stay here Chris will you come Chris is coming up next thank you Russell are you coming Chris oh, well we're gonna start without you Unplanned. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tom. Thank you for bringing us all together. You are as remarkable as everyone says. I can also attest to this. And this is my first time to sing indoors in a venue in 13 months. It feels amazing. Especially with Mac back there who knows all the things and Chris designing the incredible sound in this room. And so let's lift you up. If people really got inspired, they would do a conga line, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dr. Tom. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to your daughter. 
on out of <laughs> It's not the pale moon that excites me.
Sarah Sharp, was she incredible or what? Um, Chris Kamura, don't, don't leave the stage, Chris. I need you here for a second. So I want to make sure you know none of you paid to get in here. No one watching online paid, is paying to see this. This is all free. An anonymous donor is underwriting all this, so that's nice. And it's really a benefit for the Texas Jazz Society. And Chris, can you just say a little word or two for that? I mean, this has been a hard year on musicians, and I think we should at least talk about that a little bit. Sure. Uh, make sure you cut me off, because we're running long, and I'm very long-winded. Um, Texas Jazz Society has really been what's kept this club um, going. And, and I will say that uh, even with, when COVID hit, uh, we, were still, we, will, we were still doing live streams two days a week, uh, and we did that. And I can honestly say that there are quite a few musicians that uh, wouldn't have had food on their table had we not been able to do that. Um, Texas Jazz say everything has always been free. Um, we had, I know Mr. C already left, but we had, we had one extremely, um, that's an understatement, an extremely generous donor, um, uh, you know, who, it was a um, five digit donation kind of thing. Uh, to help keep this thing alive, and it's been wonderful. And we've been doing, um, sp again, sponsored by Texas Jazz Society. Every Thursday, we've been featuring uh, the two gentlemen that are going to come up here shortly, John Blondell and Dr. Rose, and something we've been calling Jazz Therapy. And uh, it's been an opportunity for us to just play for folks, not just for them, but for us, too, because we need it. So Texas Jazz Society is a 501c3 um, that was started to help keep, um, keep, you know, certainly to help keep this club open. Um, there are a lot of nonprofits that help individuals, but what we're trying to do here is it's the, it's the concept of you can give a man a fish or you can give him a boat to go fishing whenever he wants, and that's what Parker Jazz Club is. We've got a boat here that uh, in the short three years that we've been open, we've put so many musicians to work and brought so many exciting things. Um, next, next month, in fact, we're gonna have Joey DeFrancesco here with Doug Lawrence and Jerry Weldon um, and Andy, uh, Andrew, is that really his name? Andrew Griffith? I, I think that's his name. Um, and Dan Trudell, we're gonna have, it is going to be a ridiculous show. Uh, I, I know Joey DeFrancesco hasn't played out at all. This is gonna be a huge thing. Uh, and we've got a lot of those things happening, but without Texas Jazz Society, um, this, this club wouldn't exist. Uh, it, it really wouldn't. Um, they've, they've helped out in so many ways. And uh, I know I'm gonna keep it real short, but, but I will say this, that Texas Jazz Society has a lot of people that work really hard, uh, and I know there are a lot of Texas Jazz Society members here tonight, but no one has worked harder or put in more time than Laura Sanders, who is here. She is absolutely, she is my female version of Tom. She's like, I don't believe these human beings actually exist. People that are just so generous with their time and with their advice and, and with, their, with, their, with their energy. So huge thank you to Laura Sanders. Um, and did I say enough or can I keep talking? No, to we're talk? good, we're good. <laughs> you, you did a great job. Right. And so there is some way on the website to donate if there's Absolutely. a way. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. TexasJazzSociety.org, you can go and make a donation. You can also go to the jazz, uh, parkerjazzclub.com and do the same thing. And uh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Chris. We really sure. appreciate it. Um, the next gentleman I'm gonna bring up, um, and again, is amazing. A Vietnam veteran, pilot, surgeon. He, um, you know, I didn't know he flies a bi wing plane. Um, during the middle of COVID, when things where people were mad at me for everything they could be mad at me for, um, and that was okay. Um, he took me up in his bi wing plane, and we social distanced above Austin, just flying around. Um, Dr. Rose, where Dr. Rose, come on out. He also plays a mean trumpet. And uh, the first, those two songs that were for my uh, mom, this one is for my dad. My dad loved this song. Um, it's kind of bluesy. And we're going to start picking up. We're going to start moving more and more toward blues. We got Floyd Domino coming up in a few minutes. You have, if you've never heard him play on piano, you want to hear him. And Devin Jones is going to really take us out loud and beautiful. These electric guitars aren't sitting there for nothing. So, let's go. The next song is Night Train.
coat and I got my hat and we're bringing up John Blondell and uh, when you grab your coat and you grab your hat. John, are you here? Yeah. Okay, I, I hear a voice. Um, so I'm going to leave you with Dr. Rose. Dr. Rose, you want to say something while John gets set up? Yeah, you can't get nowhere with somebody like that unless he's been done some stuff. Uh, he's the best, huh? Grab your coat. <laughs> Don't forget your hat. Leave your worries by the doorstep. Just direct your feet. Uh, oh, the sunny side of the street. <laughs> Don't you hear that pit of pat? It's a hat sound, a footstep. <laughs> Life could be so sweet uh, on the sunny side of the street. Now, I used to. Walk in the rain with the blues on parade. Now I'm no longer afraid. Run over, run over, run over, run over, run over, cross on over. If I never had a cent, I'd be rich as Donald Trump a fella. Stormy Daniels on my knee on the sunny side of the street. That's Camino Real. Okay, so we're going to bring up a couple more people. Now it's going to start getting a little louder and a little more uh, interesting. So, Kelly, my wife, is right over there. Um, by the way... Um, if you see this graphic of me, like 008, the agent, uh, Marcus right there did that for me at some point, graphic artist, uh, and, and, and lots of things. I don't know everything you do, Marcus, but it's all wonderful, okay? So, at one point, Kelly, who works for Cisco, 
And we need, we need uh, Russell coming in here somewhere, um, and I think Russell's coming in and, and Chris is coming in. Um, we were at a party, and Kelly was the star. <laughs> and it's at some hotel, and it's all these people all interested in her, and nobody cares about me, and I love it. And there's a guy in the corner playing piano. And you know how these things are. Nobody's listening, but I'm listening. And I walked over him, can you do Lush Life? And he did it, and I asked him, can you do this? And, and when it was done, I said to him, do you give lessons? And he goes, ah, I give them to a few people. I didn't know who I was talking to. I was talking to Floyd Domino. I was talking, if you don't know Floyd Domino, he was asleep at the wheel, Merle Haggard, he's been with everybody, okay? And uh, Floyd, will you please come on out? Woo! Floyd? Floyd, uh, you want to say anything, and then I'm going to let you take it. So this guy walks up to me, and and, and he says, uh, yeah, you know, you're, you're great. Nobody's listening to you. And I said, well, you're half right on that one. No, you're right. Nobody's listening to me. But, uh, but anyway... Uh, and th then he asked if I gave lessons. I said, sure. And I thought that this event, uh, it was at the W Hotel. And I thought it was a, a bomb. And I thought I contributed to the bomb. But there were 30 people there. But they had targeted these 30 people who were uh, high-tech people who would come and look at passes that would track people all over festivals. It was a, a big success, they told me. And uh, But anyway. That person was, of course, Tom Leonard. And, uh, and then we, I began to teach him. And, um, you know, he sets the lesson plans. <laughs> That's OK. You know, I, I, I'm like the Zen teacher on that one. But um, every day or every week when we have our lesson, and now we've had them Zoom, and now we've resumed in person, but I say, how's everything going? And he always says, my life is wonderful. And I remember that because whenever I, I get out on, on the ledge or anything, I just think, what would Tom Leonard do? How would he handle this? He would say, my life is wonderful. One time, he got, <laughs> he got a uh, phone call, or he got a text, and his phone was just blowing up, you could tell. And he went, ah. And I said, no, that's all right. You deal with it. You got to deal with some stuff there. And he said, I, he said, oh, it's just uh, oh, there's some uh, guys in camouflage with uh, weapons, and uh, oh, don't worry about it, you know. <laughs> and I said, I can leave, you know. We can, we can just do this another time. And he said, ah. And then a few minutes later, he got another text. He said, oh, some kids were playing paintball. <laughs> so, he's over at the elementary school, you know. And I thought, how does this guy do it? But he's the, he is, in every way, the perfect person that Austin needed and needs. And we're so happy to have him here uh, in this town. And that's cue for applause. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to start with, uh, we got our horn players, Russell and Chris, yes, the mess around. Enough about me. What do you think about me? Um, no, I'm just kidding. So the first song is The Mess Around, Ray Charles' Mess Around, and we have Chris Kimura and Russell Haight with us.
Thank you, guys. All right. Now I know why the, when we rehearsed it, why the next song, the tempo was so fast. I was going, why is the tempo so fast? This one is Honeysuckle Rose now. I did bring, uh, I did, if you want to look at it, only if you want to look at it. It's like, yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's good enough. So uh, the next one, you know, it's just kind of, it's Fats Waller's Honeysuckle Rose. It's kind of a, I threw the, it, the gumbo in there and I threw a little bit of everything in there. So we'll give it a shot.
Is he good? <laughs> uh, by the way, we've got Ben Treesh on bass back there. We got Jeremy Brock on drums. These guys are, you don't know how good these guys are. I mean, these guys are good. So, Floyd, you're going to stay with me, right? Okay. So now we're going to heat it up. We just got a couple more numbers. The last number of this stage is going to be filled with horns. We're going to bring up at some point the great Steve Butts. We are going to bring out one of my seniors from Westlake High School. Who one of these days is going to be, well, he's great now, but one of these days you're going to know this guy is great. He's got a hair problem, but, you know, that, that's life. Um, so at one point when this club opened, I tried to get down here as often as I could. And one night, Chris Kamura says, I got this, this kid. He's coming in to play. And he goes, you got to be here. And I go, what does he play? He goes, guitar. Guitar? Really? And I, I really wasn't, I'm really not that much into it. But then I came down and I heard Devin Jones. Devin, come on out. Get yourself set up, whatever you got to do, okay? Devin's going to close us out, guys. He's going to play a couple of songs. And man, I will tell you, I sat over there, I listened to him, and I said, this guy is good. <laughs> it seems to be the theme of the night. Um, and not only that, he's just an absolute beautiful musician. Um, I think it was about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Is that when you went to China? And then you came back from China. Uh, right around, right around January. Or <laughs> Don't blame that on me. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Devin's going to do a couple songs. We're going to bring up the whole horn section. The horns get ready because the final number tonight is going to be something you will not believe. It's connected to my sweet home. So, uh, Devin, you're up. You take it. Say whatever you want to say. Good evening. Good evening, Devin. Yes. Long time no see. Yeah. Hey, uh, he's back in the back with a buddy of mine, and uh, he said, Floyd, you started. He said, I bet you're nervous. I said, well, not till now. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me, Floyd. I, I got a little bone to pick with, with Tom. I, when he asked me to do this, he got about halfway through telling me uh, what the event was, and I said, sign me up. And he didn't say that I had to follow all y'all, so uh, I am a little nervous now. Well, listen, we're gonna uh, we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna play some blues for you. Tom is from Chicago, and uh, when I when I saw the last song, I said, "Well, if he's uh, if we're gonna pay homage to some Chicago blues, that's what we'll do." So I know we're in the nicest jazz club in the world right now, uh, but we are. Ladies, just let your hair down, fellas. Uh, loosen that tie up, and let's just uh, let's play a little juke joint blues.
Baby, you wiggle, wiggle here yeah. Baby, you wiggle, wiggle there You wiggle, 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 mama Every while And you mellow down easy You mellow down easy You mellow down easy If you really wanna blow your top Yeah, you mellow down easy If you really wanna blow your top Yeah, you mellow down easy If you really wanna blow your top Mellow down one more time Coming at you, some 50 Chicago blues, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, I'm gonna call uh, Chris to the stage, too. Oh, there he is. Thank you. 
baby Oh, I love you, baby Oh, you know I love you, baby Oh, I love you, baby Time. Look at you. All right. The man himself. The man of the hour. Oh, I got to switch guitars on this one. This is the. All right. You, you got. Okay. Um, we're getting a little south. This is our finale, guys. You, if you stayed to hear this, you stayed to hear something really good. Okay. How about Devin Jones? How about Dr. Rose back there? <laughs> Dr. Rose, do you have surgery tomorrow or anything you got to do? Or Don't forget about it. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Sharp. Sarah Sharp, incredible. Um, we're getting our horns set up here for a second. Um, this arrangement, Russell Haig, I said, I need an arrangement, Dr. Haig, for a certain song. And he just said, I'll make it happen. And he did. Chris Kamura, thank you for letting us have this beautiful spot for this evening. This trumpet player over here with a goofy hat, Steve Butts from New Zealand. Say give it up for Steve Butts. And I'm introducing a kid in the back. Can the kid come out? Come on, Zach McCall. Zach McCall on trombone. How about Floyd Domino? We're moving you, I think, over here. Okay, let's get him in a plus position. Um, Zach, I think you're over here by me. Okay, get over there by him. Ben Tree, Sean Bass, Jeremy Brock, and Devin. Guys, thank you so much. You know, this has been a tough year for musicians. If you can make a donation to the Texas Jazz Society, that is appreciated. Please, you know, the wait staff here, it's been a tough year for them as well. And guys, we're going to a certain song. Well, I sure wish I would have brought my shades, man. Oh, yeah, that's the problem right there. That's your problem. All right, fellas, are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chicago. I say, come on, baby, don't you want to go? Yeah, come on, baby, don't you want to go? Big to the same old thing, sweet old Chicago. Yeah, now, one and one is two. I'm locked and loaded, I'm booked, I'm ready to go I say, hey, yeah Baby, don't you want to go? Well, that same old place Sweet home, Chicago Oh, that's right
wanna want us to do and do it sick yeah. Oh, we gotta get out of this I say, hey, yeah Baby, don't you wanna go Back to the same old place Sweet home, Chicago Oh, you got it now
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great evening. Good night. Happy birthday.